This shit is nice. It's so nice. It's very difficult to capture the actual color um, on camera. I mean, I'm looking at it between what's on the screen and what's, you know, in front of me. And it's so much richer in person. Like even my skin tone, same thing. This color is excellent. So what I'm doing right now is going through finding imperfections and things like that, marking them so that we don't make any patterns on top of, you know, bad spots. But that's pretty good. So the first piece I'm doing here is the middle armrest. I figure it's the easiest uh, to not mess up. So, you know, it's a pretty small piece. So it's only got three different pieces of leather on it. So this is the first one that I'm going to be, you know, cutting out patterns for and stitching and things like that. So I just put it all together here after I took it apart. Uh, so you can kind of see how it's oriented. And... All right, so now that these have been taken off of that, I got them laid out. And we've already, as I said, pre-marked everything that's wrong with this. We know we're obviously to avoid. But I got these laid out on there. I'm going to mark this. I'm going to grab a quarter, which is a little trick that we do where that's what marks our seam allowance is a whole quarter with a hole drilled in it. So that'll be about a half inch out from, you know, where I cut it here. And then I'm going to cut about an inch further than here. And then we're going to stitch all this shit back up and we'll put it on there. So after I got that pattern cut out, uh, and stitched up. I went and moved on to the back seat. It seemed to be the next easiest thing to do with the leather that was in most decent shape except for the very top right here. Uh, so the first thing to do was to take out the uh, hog rings and hog rings are what hold the material to the foam seat itself. So you got to take out all of those. Uh, so use a pair of hog ring pliers and go find all of them. And in this seat there were more than I've seen in any other seat and that there were 54 of them, which is why this section takes as long as it does. And you kind of see what goes into actually de-skinning a seat here. So just watch along and I'll see you in just a second. that was done the next thing to do was to actually take out all of the listing wires so if you see these lighter gray uh, pieces on the back of the seat that's what's uh, basically these little channels that hold in those wires so you see me pull those out and you'll notice as I begin to remove these that I assemble them in the same uh, pattern or design as the seat itself so that they can all go back to where they're supposed to go so you just start to see these laid out you kind of see a I don't know some of an image of a seat so and then the very next thing to do was to label top and bottom as well as the sides are pretty much symmetrical so i label that whole thing and group those together so here is where you're going to see me take apart the top uh, section of the seat so these have to be taken apart section by section uh, so that you don't get things confused in case one of the patterns is different than the other but i'm literally going to cut the stitches out uh, one by one and then pull this piece out so that i can make a pattern of it uh, on the new leather <laughs> Thank you. 
Now I spent a little extra time on this piece because I did have to make some alterations in the sense that uh, as you can see it's shrunk and dried and cracked and all of that so when I'm making this new piece I have to account for how much leather may have shrunk of course there's no telling because I don't have an original template to go off of so you'll see me trim this in a little bit more uh, than I am going to on the rest of the pieces the rest of them are pretty straightforward but on this piece I kind of took my time with it just to make sure that I can get it completely right uh, before I went and actually you know cut twice you know I didn't want to do that so yeah did my little side pieces as well I had to account for the fact that they had shrunk as well and once those were all cut out I went and I got to stitching everything up <laughs> so far this is uh obviously not actually installed it's just the insert that i've been making so it is just tucked down into i mean i got two more pieces to do but it's tucked down into channels there in the listings and uh kind of shoved it on the sides too to give it some tension but that looks pretty good i'm kind of upset that the camera can't capture the actual color of this stuff it looks more purple uh on the screen than it does in person but Otherwise, no, this is this is going to be good. It's good to finally see it you know, coming together. Let's see if we pull this back. See this all coming together. And then what's after this is to make the bolsters, which is three pieces per inner bolster. And then the outer is just one big piece of leather. Um, and then once the bolsters are made, I attach them on this seam here. In this scene here and then we will go through and actually hog ring everything to where it's supposed to be again this is not actually hog ring at all it's just tucked so i'm going to continue to make <clears throat> these last two pieces and then i'll be done for the day and we'll check back in